Hi friends, I am so excited. We have a new children's set and you'll recognize some of the stuff from the tree house. If you do, make sure and comment below, okay? This is our last week to talk about forgiveness. Deciding that someone who's wronged you doesn't have to pay. Last week I told you a story that Jesus himself told when he was on the earth. We find it in the book of Luke in the Bible. At that time, Jesus was going around teaching crowds, performing amazing miracles, but not everyone was happy about what he was doing. The religious leaders weren't pleased. One day, some of them were grumbling and complaining because Jesus was choosing to hang out with people who they didn't like. So he told a story of a man with two sons. Really quickly, let me recap the part of the story I've already shared last week. There was a man who had two sons. The younger son asked for his share of his father's inheritance. This was the money he was supposed to get one day when his father died. The son took the money, packed up all his stuff, and left for a far off country. Now, when he got there, he spent all his money. He spent it so he had nothing left. Soon, he was living with nothing. The whole country started running out of food. The younger son ended up getting a miserable job feeding pigs. While he starved, the son decided to head home, beg his father for forgiveness, and ask if he could live as a servant. But he could not get there fast enough. His father saw him coming down the road and ran toward him. The father welcomed the son with open arms. He threw a party for him in his honor. It seemed like a happy ending. But Jesus wasn't finished with the story yet. While the younger son was receiving a warm welcome, the older son was out in the field working. And as the older son wrapped up his work day and headed home, he could tell something was up. When he came near the house, he heard music and saw some dancing. There was a party going on, but why? The older son asked a servant, what's up? And the servant told him that the father had thrown him a party because the young son had come home. The older son was furious and he would have nothing to do with this. Why should they celebrate? The young son had done something wrong. The older brother refused to go in and join the party. The father came out and begged him. The older son said in the book of Luke, all these years I have worked for you. I have been a slave. I've always done what you've asked me to do. You never gave me a goat so that I could celebrate with my friends. Meanwhile, my brother runs off, spends all the money, and when he comes home, what do you do? Give him a party. You've got to be kidding. Now the dad responded saying, my son, you're always with me. Everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad. This brother of yours who was dead is now alive. He was lost and now he's found. Now, what do you think happened next? Do you think the older son decided to forgive his younger brother and go into the party? Or do you think he shut the door on that relationship forever? The interesting thing about this story is Jesus didn't tell us. He didn't tell the crowd gathered that day whether the older brother chose to forgive his brother and join the party. But one thing's for sure. If the son didn't forgive as if he chose to stay mad, he would miss out. He would miss out on a chance to have a relationship with his brother. He would miss out on a lot of things. When you don't forgive, you miss out. When you choose to stay mad instead of forgiving someone, you miss out. You might miss out on a great friendship because you misunderstood something. You might miss out on laughter and fun with your brother and sister because you were too focused on being angry. And that's not good for anyone. It's easy to forgive and God can help us. Now, in the description below are some activities and some fun things you can do with your family. And of course, there's a word search. Thanks for joining me this week, my friends, and I'll see you next week.